Good morning. Have a great day, everybody. It looks like it's going to be slightly cooler from what we saw yesterday, but plenty of sunshine. We did make it to 71 yesterday. Today, we're talking temperatures only in the 60s. We did have a cold front swing its way on through. That brought us the drier air, uh, but it's going to leave us with plenty of sunshine. The rain does increase on into our Friday, lingering Saturday, clearing Sunday, and then we do have another couple of more systems on the way as we get into next week. We're talking Tuesday and next Friday time frame. So let's get to work with the forecast for the day today. We're going to see those temperatures climbing to the mid-50s as we get into the lunch hour. Our goal this afternoon is going to be in the 60s. Uh, low 60s, Upper East Tennessee, mid-60s in the Central Valley, and some low 70s across the Southern Valley. So it's going to be a really nice day, leading to a nice evening as well. By 6 o'clock, we're in the mid-60s, dropping into the low 50s by 10 o'clock this evening. Uh, that dry air, the other side of the story for the day today, well, while we don't have a huge fire danger, we still have have quite a bit of dry air in place, but dew points will start to increase from south to north throughout the day as we uh, start to see a little bit more moisture work its way into the area. So the gray represents higher dew points num numbers, still staying on the drier side, Upper East Tennessee throughout the day. But again, we don't have a lot of fire danger thanks to the fact that we don't have a lot of wind throughout the day today. Again, rain showers increase on into our Friday. Saturday, we're going to see uh, lingering showers, but clearing late in the day. And if that's all you care to know, we sure hope you have a great day. Just know before you go that we have more rain that's going to set up shop as we get into next week. Here's our Friday storm system. It's moving its way out of the uh, Rockies and the southern central Great Plains. It's going to pull in a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So as we start Friday morning, likely not to be on the wet side, but through the day on Friday, the rain's going to be increased. So it is going to be a soggy day on Friday. Not to mention, uh, we are looking at higher rainfall totals than what we were talking about over the next uh, last couple of days. When you look at your rainfall forecast, again, here are the rains that we're going to see on Friday lingering into Saturday, especially across Upper East Tennessee and the Mountain Counties, but that moves its way on out on into our Sunday. So your three-day rainfall forecast uh, here in East Tennessee, we're talking about a half an inch to upwards of an inch and a quarter of rainfall. The highest amounts will be at the Southern Valley in the mountains, higher amounts over the next three days across the southeastern coastline. Then as we get into our Monday morning, Tuesday morning time frame, so from Monday into Tuesday, rain's going to pick up across parts of the uh, Mississippi River Valley. Tuesday into Wednesday, that works its way into East Tennessee. Wednesday into Thursday, maybe some lingering showers Wednesday if that cold front kind of gets locked up across the southeast, which it may. It's being advertised on that. But when you take all that into, uh, into account, we're talking anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall here around East Tennessee with higher amounts a little bit further to our south. So something to keep in mind if you have travel plans here this week. Here's your seven-day temperature trend. It's going to be nice. We're going to be at or slightly above average over the next seven days. And the good news is, is those morning low temperatures really aren't going to be too terribly cold, so we don't have any freezing temperatures on the way. Something that we will continue to watch over the next several days because some models are advertising a week from tomorrow to maybe even be colder with maybe even some light Mountain snow showers. We'll see how that one plays out over time. So time will tell. Make sure you check back in every once in a while. And you can do so easily. Download the East Tennessee Weather app. It's 100% free. Why? Because weather is free. We already have weather on our cell phones. Just come to a trusted source. And that's why you need to search East TN Weather, all one word, in the Google Play Store or the App Store. Or join me online at EastTNWeather.com. Have a great day.